I'm entertaining, if it's the holidays, or if I just need a show-stopping dessert, double chocolate pie is always a winner. It's really rich, super delicious, and everybody absolutely adores it. And that's the most important part. It starts with one and a half cups of sugar, a quarter cup of cornstarch. I added about a quarter teaspoon of salt. And now comes three cups of whole milk. This is basically a chocolate pudding filling for this pie. I'm gonna pour it inside a deep, rich, chocolatey crust. Now I'll add four beaten egg yolks. And then I'm gonna turn this heat on about medium and I'll whisk it together while it slowly heats up. Now you could add vanilla and stop right here and you'd have a vanilla pie filling. I'm not happy with vanilla pie. I'm gonna make a chocolate pie. And it's as easy as just adding some bittersweet chocolate. And I have to say, this never gets old. Watching this chocolate melt and swirl into that pudding filling, oh my goodness. Okay, now once the chocolate is all melted, you wanna add two tablespoons of butter and that just makes the filling a little bit more silky and rich. And then a little bit of vanilla. And then it's just about stirring until the butter is melted and that takes about 4.3 seconds because <laughs> this filling is so hot. Okay, I turned off the heat. So now that the filling's ready, I'm gonna grab the base for the pie. It's just a really simple chocolate crust. I used nine chocolate graham crackers and added some melted butter and three tablespoons of sugar, pressed it into a pie pan and baked it at 350 for four minutes. Really simple. Now this is a very monumental occasion. Look at this. <laughs> we don't even have to talk. We can just stare. <laughs> Oh, it's so silky and beautiful. And if you play your cards right, you'll have a little extra filling left over. Now, I like to put wax paper on top of this chocolate pie filling. It's so much better than plastic wrap. You can actually press it against the filling, just let it naturally stick. And then after it chills, the wax paper peels off pretty neatly. Now, this is gonna keep setting as it cools in the fridge. I'm gonna pop it in there for three hours. As if that double chocolate pie isn't scrumptious enough, I'm gonna top it with a beautiful glossy meringue. So gorgeous. This is a really dramatic, beautiful pie. Okay, I'm adding a quarter cup of corn syrup to a little saucepan, and I'll add a third a cup of sugar, along with a couple of tablespoons of water, a pinch of salt, and I'm gonna turn the heat up pretty high and I wanna get this just to the bubbling point. It's not gonna take long at all. You know, I don't normally put meringue on my pies. I save it for when I'm gonna serve a pie around the holidays or if I'm having a dinner party. A meringue topped pie just looks like you spent a little extra time on it. Okay, this is totally bubbling away, so I'm gonna turn off the heat and move on to step two of the meringue. Now it's all about whisking the egg whites. I'm using two, and I'll keep whisking them until they're frothy. Okay, now I'll add an eighth of a teaspoon of cream of tartar and another little pinch of salt. And this is the fun part. I'm gonna grab this hot syrup, and with the mixer still going, I'm gonna drizzle it in in a really small stream. The only thing that can mess up the meringue is impatience on your part. You've gotta go really, really slow. Okay, just a little bit more. All right, now I'm gonna turn up the speed and I'm gonna let it keep whipping until stiff peaks form. Won't take long. The meringue looks marvelous, beyond marvelous. All right, I'm gonna peel the wax paper off of the pie and look exactly as I promised, just a teeny bit came up. Okay, now I'm gonna put all of the meringue on top. Look at this, gorgeous and just bright white. And then I'm gonna use just a metal spoon to kind of smush this and spread it. 
And then you don't have to get fancy at the end, but you do want to have really pretty peaks in the meringue. Tap it here and there and sort of pull away. And I think that's about as good as my meringue peaks are going to get. <laughs> so I'm going to use a torch to toast the little tips of the meringue. And it's just like toasting a marshmallow. If you hold it there for too long, it'll catch on fire. And then you'll have, whoop, a little black tip right there. But that's OK. OK, I think I better stop. Sometimes I'll go too far when it comes to toasting meringue. Now I'm going to put the pie on a beautiful cake stand. So that's the double chocolate pie. Let me tell you how I'm going to serve it up. So for a little slice of pie heaven, I'll cut carefully through the meringue and filling, then use a cake slicer to lift it out. Oh my gosh, how divine is that? I adore this pie. It's chocolatey, creamy, rich, gorgeous. And judging from the reaction I usually get when I make it, I think your friends and family are gonna love it too.